The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-445-1044. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, looking good, Billy Ray. Feeling good, Lewis. Many, many things happening today, getting ready for this holiday coming up. Uh, let's take a quick look here. Someone's asked a question about the correlation between the 30-year Treasury bond and the S&P 500. Uh, I posted it here on the daily chart going back over the past two and a half years. Um, you know, sometimes it works pretty good, sometimes it doesn't. I, I look at each chart separately when I do this stuff. So that's basically what I'm looking at. Now, we went up and we've tested that 61% retracement level again in the Treasury bonds up at that 150-20 level. So, uh, and it's interesting that, that actually notes are lagging behind a little bit. So it's quite, uh, quite an interesting here, the fact that we've got these short-term rates uh, uh, yielding more than the long-term rates, which is an uh, inverted yield curve, which is uh, very interesting. Uh, folks, uh, several people have asked me about the gold market. We've finally had a $17 move off the bottom. Uh, the low was 13.67. We rallied up to our first, uh, you know, price objective, which is one half of the harmonic number, which is $17. So uh, the th the problem is the platinum, folks. Platinum is the the, the lagging. Uh, <laughs> the lagging sister here because it's just uh, just barely above eight dollars. We got down to six seven ninety six last night in platinum. Now silver's had a nice rally. It's rallied about seventeen cents. So that's also made its first objective. So if you're in that, make sure you put your stops below these recent lows because we could be in a very very massive deflation. And I'm not sure that that's what's going to happen, but, uh, you know, that's neither here nor there. We need to uh, pay close attention to that. I, I want to share with you uh, from our, my research uh, group out of uh, Kiev, Ukraine. You'll notice here I just posted into the Dan the number of days that the, uh, the euro over the past, uh, well, this goes back a very, very long time, um, yeah, this is the last two years, of course, but we we go back. Uh, we've done this for over 20 years, uh, all it has. So it's been a it's very very intense research. It basically shows that there's only been uh, two, several days. Look where you've been down eight days in a row, nine days in a row, or ten days in a row. That's only happened three times. I'll post the euro here in just a second here, Mr. Bill, but I wanted to show you these statistics because this tells you the market is incredibly oversold. Just think of this. Over the last several years, and, and if you do this and go over the past 20 years, it doesn't go past 10. 10 is the largest one that we've ever seen. Now, you'll notice when we look at the chart here on the euro this morning, and we'll get it up here so everybody can see it, you'll see the double bottom down there at that 111 uh, 11120 area. We're trading at 11130 or something like that this morning, but we are so oversold that we're most probably getting ready uh, to have a rally. Now, if we did the opposite of this, which we've done, and went back and looked at this stuff, uh, actually the data uh, goes all the way back to 2000 that we ran it. So there's been no days more than 10 in the last 20, 19 years where we've had a chance to look at that. Um, Let's take a quick look here. We'll we'll take a look at the gold here for just a second, uh, Maria, because I, I want to get this euro and dollar index out of the way because that that controls everything. The uh, the uh, you're you're right, Marshall. The U.S. dollar looks like a double top. Let me uh, guys are getting. I'm going to let you do this show, and I'll just sit back and listen because that's good. Hold on, just a second here, and we'll take a look at this uh, at this one of these uh, at a time so we can take a look. Let's look at the U.S. dollar first. Now, here's one where it's up 10 days in a row. That's only happened three times in 20 years, folks. So those are those are numbers that we look at. We're up at that 98 and change again uh, this morning. Uh, we still could get to uh, 99, but remember, with this many days up, we are very, very overbought. So let's just uh, remember that and uh, keep in mind that we're very, very close. That British pound that we've been looking at went right down to that level again, that 126.10 uh, level. They are talking about the, uh, 
you know, Theresa May is in the history books is what they're saying. And it's this type of thing like we had at Brexit that could cause a big surprise. But going below 126, you know, that certainly would be a very negative thing for the British pound on a technical basis. Uh, we've looked at this, uh, you know, quite a few times. Uh, we've gone right down. The, it hit the exact, what's really funny, though, folks, last night, that it hit the exact 78% level uh, to the tick. And that was at 120, well, it missed it by four pips. Uh, 126.10 was a number, and the low on the pound was 126.04 last night. So it did make that 78% level uh, pretty much spot on. And so we'll keep an eye on whether that continues to move uh, in that direction. I finally got all of the technical things uh, fixed uh, yesterday uh, it took me a little while to get it done and I uh, usually I went to I went to I went to the church of Mary uh, sister Mary perpetual and I made my confession for being a bad boy yesterday but we did get everything running hopefully it'll keep running today and get it folks I wanted there's there's just a lot of things that are really going on today but I would like you um, to, 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 Maria wants to ask about this gold let's get the gold up here so we can take a look at it here we'll just get Get it done right now. Hold on one second. Billy Ray, we'll get this thing moving. And here's the gold market. We went down to the uh, 12. This was as of Friday, of course. We went down and tested 1267 one more time. We've now rallied 13, $17 an ounce up to the uh, 1283 level. That is the first half harmonic in gold. If gold is really bullish, it'll back off to a 38% retracement and continue to go higher. We got a caller on the line who's very fine. His Mr. Z from Philly. What can I do for you, my friend? Oh, my Lord, you are uh, you are uh, on a roll this morning. God bless you. It's a you. it's a as a poet and don't know it. What can I help you with, buddy? <laughs> I love it. That's fabulous. Good. Well, you got some uh, inspiration last night from somebody. Maybe it was your grand uh, grandson uh, or something. No, I got my proverbial fanny fanny ham hammered by about ten emails from people. <laughs> That's okay. You know, one 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 or two bad shows every year. I got to be expected to do. So what are we going <laughs> to yes. do? Yes, you do. Yes, you do. Uh, I I don't want to interrupt your line of thought if you are still telling. Uh, Maria and your uh, audience uh, about gold. No, we're done. We pretty much covered it. Maria's pretty smart. She could be doing this show anyway, as you know. So, what can I? <laughs> yes, she could. Um, wanted to ask you a follow-up question, please, regarding the euro. Um, there, you know me. I like to um, try to understand as best I can uh, s uh, future scenarios knowing so often when I think one thing's likely to happen, something else dramatically happens. And so I always look yeah. to get prepared. Uh, in regard to the euro, uh, every th I, uh, I recognize and take in all the observations you've just made about being down 10 or 15 days in a row and getting very oversold. Uh, so I'm fully prepared to see a reversal higher. Uh, of course, don't know if that's going hey, to occur. Hey, John, we got to pay a few bills. Can you come back with us in a few minutes? Sure can. Okay, Mr. Z will be back. 877-927-6648. The Taz Profile Scanner is the most revolutionary piece of trading software that you will ever try. Wouldn't you like to approach the markets with confidence? As you begin your trading day, it's likely that you'll be faced with lots of decisions. In order to make the best decision, the first thing you'll need is a strategy that will help you minimize your risks. Whether we're in a bull or bear market, a good strategy is to have the tools needed to help you scan and analyze the markets before you trade. The Taz Profile Scanner instantly scans and filters over 2,500 global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodity futures, and Forex. Headed by Steve Dahl, president of Taz Market Profile, the Taz Profile Scanner understands that in today's technological world, the use of top flight software applications, automated trading algorithms, and technical analysis expertise is essential to successful trading in today's market. Whether you're looking at the trade matrix, the ETF heat grid, 
the market breadth, the landscape charts, or the many other features of the TAS Profile Scanner, this is a piece of software that will revolutionize how you look at the markets and set up your trades. The team at TAS has even put together a 12-part video series to walk you through every aspect of the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find directly on the TAS Order page at TFNN.com. Sign up now for only $97 a month with a risk-free 30-day trial so you have nothing to lose and everything to gain. See for yourself how you can harness the full power of the TAS Profile Scanner by visiting the front page of TFNN.com today and you'll find the TAS Profile Scanner under the Services section. Remember, with a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to lose. Don't let another day pass you by without trying out this amazing piece of software that will revolutionize how you look at the market and how you place trades. Sign up today. Many of our new listeners have heard about the Tiger's Den. The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of the TFNN shows, plus see all of the charts as they happen live and have access to archives of all of those charts. You can test drive the Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days and greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets and how to make your money work for you. Details on the Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN has launched our brand new website. You can still visit us at the same TFNN.com URL, but when you do, you'll see a new and improved homepage with a much simpler navigation, whether you're watching Tiger TV live in high definition or just accessing your newsletter subscriptions. We even have new pricing in six months and yearly options. Check out the new TFNN.com now and experience all the upgrades. TFNN.com, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. All right, we're back, folks. We're talking with Mr. Z out of Philadelphia. John, we're chatting about the euro, and uh, we're almost down to those old lows at 111.10. We're trading at 111.17. Uh, what's your question, my friend? Okay, fine. Uh, right, scenarios. Um, given all your comments, I'm fully prepared and can actually uh, figure out some sort of uh, buy trades I might make uh, mm -hmm. with a bottoming and reversal higher scenario. Mm -hmm. Alternatively, I wanted to ask if you can just assist me with some of your experience on being mentally prepared for a much more immediately, quickly bearish scenario. And I, I'll just make an observation, Larry. I'm looking in Tiger TV at your daily Euro chart, and I've noticed mm -hmm. um, a pattern of uh, lower lows since February but in but on a percentage basis effectively no movement whatsoever in the euro yeah you've had 1 and 2% moves and if you levered each move you know you could make some money but in the scheme of things 1 or 2% price change is nothing uh, mm -hmm. i've seen this type of pattern before where we're drifting lower and it's as if you're getting prepared to go over Niagara, Niagara Falls, and then, mm -hmm. uh, you, and then the pattern gives way from low volatility, slightly lower lows, to just an outright dive. Uh, and in the case of the euro, that might bring into focus, you know, that 104, 103 area. So uh, I'm thinking about that as possible without predicting it. And asking, mm -hmm. can you just share what uh, what you'd be doing, looking for, acting upon, uh, just to be prepared for that possibility, please? You bet, John. I'm watching that very, very closely, mainly because of the fact that we're down so many days in a row that we just talked about. You know, being down 10, closing lower 10 days in a row is a very unusual event, uh, but we've had it happen several times here uh, over the past, uh, you know, couple of years, and that, that that in itself makes it an outlier event. The key number, the old low that we had was 111.10. The number that I'm focusing on, John, is 1.1092, 1.1092. 
What that number is, that's the 1.618 of the expansion all the way through March. And if you take that and measure it down, at, I've got it posted in there so you can take a look at it. That little blue triangle ends up at 110.92. I've got an order setting there at 110.93, and I have a stop at 110.73. I'm only going to risk a very, very small amount because uh, if it accelerates, you know, we can easily go down to the second 1.618 level. You can see on the chart there that it comes in at 110.10. If we do that, that means that the U.S. dollar has broken out to the upside, and we're heading to that 99.30 level in the U.S. dollar. That breaks through the 61% retracement in really high fashion, so you don't want to stand in front of a, of a falling train. This might be the time where we go 13, 14, 15 days in a row where it closes lower in the euro. We don't know that. I'm sure you remember this, John, but the number of days uh, closing up or down in commodity markets has been 22 or 23. That's been over the past uh, 70 years that I've been looking at this. We did it a couple of times in sugar. We did it a couple of times in silver. No other commodities have ever come close to running in those 22-day runs that we've had here uh, in uh, silver and sugar over the past 60 years. So you got to be careful. Just because we're down 10 days in a row doesn't mean we can't go 10, 12, 13. In fact, Tom DeMarc, has a fabulous uh, system based on 13 days down. So, um, you know, that's all I'm saying. The key level for me, John, is 110.92. That's it. I got an order 110.93, and uh, if it gets filled, you know, I'll be good. And I, I'm, you know, basically I'm going to be reversing there. So uh, that's what I'm looking at. You know, Larry, thank you so much for that uh, specific answer. And I just have to comment. I was about to say something when you concluded, but you jumped the gun on me here. Uh, I, uh, I think I heard you intimate that you're doing, that you're prepared rather, to do one of those patented Bryce Gilmore stop and reverse trades. Yes? <laughs> yeah, I am. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I knew it. <laughs> I, I am. Yeah, I, I, well, I, I've been following it down, and it's been uh, it's been doing pretty good. So I I just have to wait and see what happens. You know, I'm I just it's just a really you know a small position, but it's got a chance here. It's got all the things that are there, and if you looked at the euro, you know. In Today, my goodness, you know, it rallies 60, 70 pips and turns down. It rallies 60, 70 pips and turns down. I mean, you know, it's just like looking at a at a broken clock. It's going to be there no matter what time you look at it. So, so it's really a great way to, to watch and how to trade the markets is to follow the euro. That's the easiest thing to trade of all the things that we look at here. I mean, it's ju it just really is uh, It's a thing of beauty to watch. So that's important. Uh, By the it, way, I'm it is indeed. Uh, thanks so much. Uh for your assistance and uh, good uh, upcoming holiday weekend to you and your family. Well, thank you. You too, John. And hope to see you one of these days during the summer. May God bless, and we'll see what's going on, huh? <laughs> Very good. Bye now. Okay, you bet. Okay, folks, what I'm going to do here is uh, move on to something. You know, I've been doing this for a very long time, and I've never gotten any, I'm talking about any inside information, but fortunately, there's a dude over in the city of the wind, Las Vegas, Nevada. Mr. TB has got the inside skinny on Deutsche Bank. I want to bring this up here, folks. This gentleman has been bearish this since Hector was a pup. Remember Deutsche Bank, January 2017. Don't ever forget this, folks. Deutsche Bank offers stock at a 35% discount. Do you ever have your grandma say, if it sounds like it's too good to be true, chances are it probably is? Now, I wonder how many people that bought it in January at uh, almost $21 a share are now setting with a 66.5% loss. At, it's trading at $7.15 today. That is not a very good thing. But Mr. TB has, been, has a handle on this stock. He's been watching it go down the whole way. And if we take a look at, and we've done this before many years ago, because uh, when he sent us some information, uh, we uh, brought this to your attention. But look at the long-term monthly chart here uh, on Deutsche Bank. Going back to 2001, we went from 35 all the way up to 140. If you remember, this had 
nothing to do with crude oil, but that's when crude oil hit $140 a barrel. And look where we are now. The price objective on this ABCD butterfly that we're looking at here, you can see it marked with the little red square, is $2.66. There is no way in Hades that the German government is going to let their flagship bank go down the, the tubes like we did with uh, Lehman Brothers. I don't think that. They're just too proud. So I believe at 266 is where it's going. So put a buy in at 267 with a stop at 261. You only have to risk the five cents. That's a good deal. Anyway, I would watch that because it's going to be interesting if we get to that level. That's another uh, five bucks down, and that'll scare some people. 877-927-6648. Larry Pesavento has just started his brand new service, Fibonacci 24-7, and he's already delivering content to his subscribers on a daily basis when the market's opened and even on weekends. Each Monday, you'll receive Larry's written report that provides detailed commentary and a summary on the charts and videos that Larry sends out. And throughout the week, when warranted, Larry will send out via charts or videos or both the key markets that he is watching during the day. This will be up-to-the-date active trading information that will help help you in your daily trading. In Larry's first week alone, he sent out 25 charts, six videos, and a full report to his subscribers in just one week. If you're a technical trader that uses patterns and retracements to trade, then Larry's service Fibonacci 24-7 is something that you must try. Right now, new subscribers can get a full 30-day money-back guarantee. With nothing to risk, sign up now to Larry Pesavento's Fibonacci 24-7 by visiting the front page of TFNN.com under Trading Newsletters. The Path of Least Resistance is David White's daily trading newsletter, and if you're looking for active trading ideas, then now's a perfect time for a 30-day free trial to this powerful daily trading advisory service. David uses his years of trading experience to offer his subscribers his trading ideas each morning in his Path of Least Resistance newsletter. Using a combination of equity trades along with options, David keeps his subscribers up to date with all pertinent market information with intraday afternoon updates when warranted. Don't miss out on this great chance to get a 30-day free trial to David's daily newsletter, The Path of Least Resistance, with no obligation to pay anything. David has been delivering solid recommendations for his subscribers recently, and if you'd like to see the type of newsletter he delivers every morning, then visit the front page of TFNN, and you'll find The Path of Least Resistance under Trading Newsletters. For all the details, and to start your 30-day free trial today, log on to TFNN.com now. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting tfnn.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. All right, folks, we're back. Uh, we did match the Euro's low from uh, two weeks ago, well, actually a month ago, at 111.10. Uh, hit the exact one. I still believe we're going to go a little bit lower on that. But I posted the chart for Tesla. Don't trade this stock. Have very little interest in it. Don't trust any car that you can hear. Uh, that's the old adage from my old grandma. So just remember, that's one of the things that she used to like to drive was her 1941 Mercury convertible. My grandma was a 
She really knew how to live. Anyway, let's take a look here at this Tesla. We've gone below the 78% level. Folks, we've been focusing on these FANG stocks for weeks now. They've been sh showing how weak they are. They had been the leader all the way up from December the 26th. Uh, they stopped being the leader about a month or so ago. Particularly, we're looking at the uh, Google and Apple. Well, Apple's still doing okay, but the others are just not doing very well at all. So that's a bad sign. One of the things that we've been talking about over the past several weeks is uh, the way that the uh, overall breadth of the market doesn't look very good. And if we just took a look at the uh, uh, okay, <laughs> if you'll take a look here, you'll see here, this is the Russell uh, 2000 small cap, and you can see the uh, bearishness there. It's showing, you know, that the relative strength in the market is really very, very poor, and it's been getting worse and worse, folks. This was as of Monday. Here we are into Thursday, and it's already starting to go down. Now, tomorrow, uh, yes, you're right, Terry. We talked about Qualcomm. I was going to bring that up because that was one of the stocks that, you know, when we got up there, it was making, as I recall, let's pull this up here so we can take a look at it, was making a, uh, a big uh, 1.618 expansion. Let's get this up here. Well, shut the front door and raise a rent. It certainly was. Let's just get this up here and take a look at this. Hold on. We'll get the weekly up. And uh, uh, that doesn't show it nearly as well. Let me try the monthly. Maybe that's which one I did. Nope. I must be wrong, but let's get the daily back here so we can see that big island reversal we've had here. Uh, hold on a second. Ah, there it is. Hold on just a minute. I've got it. It just took a little while to redo. I've got to redraw it because of the fact I haven't updated it for the past. Uh, wow, this thing has really gotten hit big time. So uh, that's what we're watching here. Let's get up here and you'll be able to see it. One second. Let me send it out to the... Um, to the chart thing and then we'll we'll be able to see it and then I won't have to get angry and make a fool of myself uh, like I did pretty much uh, yesterday. I believe we're going lower now in the euro, which is what we've been uh, watching here. Now let's just take a quick look here uh, at the uh, at the Qualcomm. Uh, hold on just one second here. Oh, you know, I love it when I – now I've got the beeper in my background is just driving me absolute wacko. So, um, oh, shuck, the front door and razor. Let me turn off this this alert, folks. Sorry, I'm going to uh, – bear with me a second. I've got to take care of a little business because we are going below that number here. I'm waiting to see it hit 111.23. The stock market's weakening again. So uh, we're going to see uh, what happens. Let me get the Qualcomm chart up now. All I got to do is find that little puppy, and then we will be ready to go. And I found it, and here we bring it up right now. Here is the, uh, uh, you know, Ruby, I'm going to try to look at cocoa and sugar for you, and I will do that. Not, not a problem. We will definitely do that, cocoa and sugar. Here's Qualcomm. Uh, you'll notice this is what we were talking about, uh, that big red box up there. Uh, there's that. Uh, there's a three drive to a top pattern. If you took the time to measure it, the key the key place to look, folks, was back on the um, uh, three days ago when we closed at 76, because uh, all you were waiting for were to see if the market was going to gap down. It did it the, the second to the next day, and look, it gapped from 76. It dropped uh, all the way down to 68. Something is wrong at Qualcomm, boys and girls. Um, when it got up there to 90, some people were taking some pretty good pot shots at getting uh, getting long. I still believe uh, on, I want to do the sugar and cocoa for for uh, Ruby, but I still believe that we're looking at this potential target here right after the holiday, and that is going to be 2736. That's 100 handles from where we are right now. I still think we're going to go down there. Folks, we're already below the 78% level of the low on the 14th and the 61% level of the 13th. So this is not good action in stocks. And they have been extremely bearish. It's only been a few stocks that have been doing this. And, uh, you know, the overall market has looked, you know, very, very poorly. Now, before I get to the uh, – before I get – Southern Indiana looks like, folks. This is this was as of yesterday. You can see all the water out there. That's a cornfield, believe it or not, and they can't get the tractors in. 
you're you're talking about a little over 1100 acres uh, down by Vincennes, Indiana. So that's pretty uh, rough. And if you look at the chart that we just received uh, this morning from our good friend, uh, Sime only, we'll get up here and you'll see the progress that has been going on in planting corn. You know, uh -oh, uh oh, don't do this to me, please don't. Oh, I hope that comes up. I hope that corn thing popped up. Let me see if it did. Yes, we're good. Anyway, you'll see the progress in the corn crop is lagging way, way behind uh, where it should be. So this could mean that we're looking at some serious uh, problems in corn. And we've already rallied 40 cents a bushel. But believe me, folks, uh, you know, 40 cents a bushel can uh, dissipate very, very quickly if they do some type of a trade deal or whatever. Who knows? All right, let's get on the main program page here for Ruby and pull up the sugar chart. I'm going to do this up to date, hopefully, so we'll be able to see what's going on. And uh, sugar is SB. We're looking at the October. And, uh, yeah, we're backing off a little bit today. Um, we got to hold that 1185, that 1185 level in October sugar, um, Ruby, because if we don't, uh, then you're going to be looking at something that is going to be quite nasty because it's going to go down and make it. Uh, yeah, corn is high as an elephant's high on the 4th of July. You have to finish the poem, Marshall. It's a complete poem. <laughs> All right. Let's, uh, I love you, buddy. Hey, tell Lynn I said hello and we miss you. Just give me a second here. Come down and see us in Tucson like you always do. Let's take a look at the cocoa, see what hot chocolate is doing today. Uh, hot chocolate still looks pretty good to me. I think, you know, we're, we're having a, wow, it's actually had a heck of a run here, which we thought it was going to do. Let's get this up here. You'll be able to see the uh, beautiful Gartley pattern that we had down here at the uh, 22 level. We're now a couple thousand dollars higher, but we've made a double top up here, and that's for sure. We need to get uh, cocoa above that 2480 level. To, to get it moving, but that's what the cocoa and sugar look like. Uh, so whether that's going to help you or not, I don't know. I don't do too much with those anymore, but uh, those are just a few of the things that we're we're keeping a uh, you know really close eye on here. Okay, we got the crude oil down at 59.08. Uh, we've been bearish that for a while. Uh, we've now broken you know seven dollars, folks. We're 13 13 percent lower in crude oil after the uh, bearish pattern uh, was put in. And you'll you'll be able to see here as we get up here, we're heading down, I believe, to fifty-five dollars a barrel uh, in the coke uh, in the. Uh, uh oh, we've got to pay a few bills. Eight seven seven nine two seven six six four eight. If you're in the CD market and looking for a secure investment, the Tiger First Mortgage Program may work for you. The security for these first mortgages are building lots in the Tax Opportunity Zone in St. Petersburg, Florida. The Tax Act of 2018 set up tax-free zones across the country where you can build and hold for 10 years and pay no tax on the profits, which makes these lots valuable. The investment is anywhere from $30,000 to $75,000. The interest paid is 7% yearly paid on a monthly basis. According to Bankrate.com, the best rate for a four-year CD in the country as of February 20th is 3.1%. A $50,000 investment at a normal four-year CD rate of 3.1% would give you income of $1,550 per year or $6,200 over the four-year period. That same $50,000 investment in the Tiger First Mortgage Program would give you $3,500 per year or $14,000 over the four years. Which would you prefer, $6,200 or $14,000 of interest on your investment? If you would like more information about the Tiger First Mortgage Program, you can call me at 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. It's amazing to think that Tom O'Brien started his weekly gold report 17 years ago with the first issue published April 7th, 2002, when gold was trading at under $300 per ounce. Gold peaked at more than $1,900 in 2011, and after spending many years consolidating at lower prices, gold may be poised for its next big run. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, South African rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. As of April 1st of this year, the gold report currently 
currently has eight active positions with an average unrealized profit of almost 8% for each open trade. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your Gold Report subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. Don't let gold's next big run pass you by. Sign up today. Will the S&P 500 continue to climb? For bold trades on U.S. large cap stocks in either direction, trade SPXL, SPUU, or SPXS. Direction's daily S&P 500 bull and bear leveraged ETFs. Direction leveraged ETFs. An investor should carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risks, charges, and expenses before investing. A fund's prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a fund's prospectus and summary prospectus, call 866-476-7523 or visit directioninvestments.com. A fund's prospectus and summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors distributor for side fund services llc the bull bear binary option hour next on tfnn all right folks i posted the chart of the crude oil four hour chart gives you several months that you can see here the key is that we had a beautiful ABCD pattern starting on May the 3rd uh, up into the 10th. We had a really big sell-off uh, down to the 78% level, about $3 a barrel. Then we went up and made a new high to complete the perfect ABCD at 63.80. I mean, to the exact tick. And then, of course, we've had a big sell-off. That ABCD pattern measures to, you can see the D level over there at 57.20. That's $1.70 a barrel from where we are right now, uh, it has a pretty good chance of getting there. And the reason why I think that is if you'll notice uh, over the past several days, you'll notice these big wide ranging bars of well over a buck and a half to $2 per barrel. I uh, had another $2 barrel bar again today. Uh, that really tells you that there's a lot of selling coming in on this ABCD level. So uh, the 78% level is sitting there at around 57.10. The D level setting there at around 57.30. That's a buck and a buck 80 from where we are right now. And of course, at any time, you can have a you know really good rally from that level. But longer term, uh, based on this four-hour chart, it certainly looks like the uh, crude oil uh, could be heading down uh, to that level. So let's uh, let's keep that one in mind uh, for tomorrow. Now today. I thought we were going to have Stan Harley today, but I messed up, so we're going to have him on tomorrow, uh, and we'll be do our best to uh, have Stan as our guest. I uh, I really did a uh, – uh, we're out of that. So uh, very good, Maria, on your, on your ES trade. That's the best two points you could spend today because uh, 12 points is too much to risk when you're trying to catch a falling knife. Good girl. I appreciate that one. So let's uh, – let's, talk a little bit uh, uh, about the uh, overall situation in the commodity markets. If you remember, uh, Dennis Gartman forwarded on this chart. Uh, it's very, very important, but the problem is it's very long term, and you don't know how long this is going to last, but this was done by Legacy Research, and as you can see from 1970, we're talking 50 years, boys and girls. Uh, you had the oil crisis in 73, 74. You know, I think it was up to, what, uh, 6 or $7 a barrel at that time. I don't remember. It was something really ridiculous. Uh, then we had the Gulf crisis in 1990. It was at $43, uh, $44 a barrel before dropping down to $11 a barrel in the dot-com bubble. And then, of course, we had the, uh, the, uh, the uh, thing with about the houses back in 2008 when we hit uh, 140 in the uh, crude oil. That's when Goldman Sachs came out with their special report of going to $200 a barrel in crude oil, and yet they were selling hand over fist that we found out a little bit later. So it's not always what they're telling you. What they're doing is not exactly what they're doing in the market. So trade what you see not what you hear. All right, let's move along because we don't know if this is going to turn or not. We're in an area of deflation that could be extremely bearish. We'll have to wait and see. I have to check something here very quickly because I uh, I want to see what's happening with the uh, 
the Euro went went down and cleaned out all those stops at 111.10. We got down to 111.05. Now the key level that I'm looking at is at 111. Uh, excuse me, 110.90. 92. That's the 1.618 expansion that I talked about with Mr. Z, and that's uh, that's what we're paying attention to. Now we're getting a really big acceleration now in the Treasury bonds. Uh, we we mentioned that uh, uh, several times that we could easily, you know, get up to that level in the bonds. It looks maybe that's what we're going to have happen. And I want to bring this chart up so we can see it quickly. Hopefully, hopefully, hopefully. Oh, where did I put it? Well, here is the Treasury notes. You'll be able to see it here with the Treasury notes also. Uh, you'll be able to see it because we could get up there with a flight to quality, which I think is uh, going to uh, be looking at it. So we'll take a look at this. You'll notice uh, we're, we're, we're clearing this level now on the Trentino. So that means we're probably, and we just hit the 61% retracement again in the bonds, folks, at that 120, uh, 150, 20 level. So anything above that, it could be going. You're right, Marshall, it's going to be a double top in here. That's one of the reasons why uh, my little beeper went off to tell me that that's where we were, and I want to pay close attention to that level because uh, we are going accelerating down in stocks, and that means there's a flight to quality in it. But the stock market is just so bearish, folks. I know we have these 30, 50, and 60-point rallies in the S&P, but the, these are just short-covering rallies. I mean, the market overall... If you look at that New York Stock Exchange Index, my goodness, it has, uh, it's got a big sign uh, right across the front of the building that says, please sell me, please sell me, please sell me. Look at the three. You got a triple top up there, lower tops. This is the 135 pattern by uh, the, the Longstreet uh, group of uh, uh, Roy Longstreet and his uh, son Bill. That's uh, the three level and the one, three, and the five, and just no bounce at all. And, uh, and remember, we talked about the importance of the Asian markets and that Hang Seng Index. Boy, if you want to see a bearish chart, folks, this isn't up to date. But uh, just to show you where we are, we're trading below uh, 20, uh, uh, 27,000 now in the, uh, in the Hang Seng. Uh, that's down uh, roughly uh, 5 or 6 percent. We had that very weak rally, three-day rally. Look at that. And then a big outside reversal day, and now we're down – below 27,000, which is approaching the 61% level. We saw the same thing if you were looking at the emerging markets. Uh, you're, you're, we, I, this is not up to date, so you can imagine where it is right now because it's gotten uh, hit pretty hard also. Uh, and below, we get below 38, uh, you're looking at an ABCD structure that's going to take you down to the 2016 lows. That is not going to be good for China, U.S., or anyone. That's uh, That means there's problems in River City. This way it looks from uh, the cheap seats uh, here at the offices of Duke and Duke. Okay, we have a question uh, about the gold market. Uh, if this is, in fact, the, the bottom that we've been looking for, the answer to that, folks, is I don't know. And you know the good part of it is nobody else knows either. I will say this. If we get above 1310, which is a you know far far piece away from where we are right now that I believe that is in there. I'm very surprised that platinum got as low as it did. It was only of the three precious metals we look at. Gold held the lows. Silver held the lows perfectly, as as a matter of fact. And the the, uh, the platinum was just uh, out of sight. I mean, it just kept dropping and dropping and dropping. And that's been happening with uh, copper. As a matter of fact. I wanted to bring this to your attention since we're talking about Dr. Copper. This is one of the things that Rich Anderson always looks at, and we should be uh, pretty close to this 78% retracement level today down at 265. I don't know if Copper got there. I, I posted this as of yesterday, so uh, if Mr. Z or somebody would check to see if that Copper got down to 265, because if it did, that would be a low-risk buy because you have a – uh, three drive to a bottom pattern in that in that particular one. So double check it. I will check it when we pay a few bills here for TFNN and get back. And, oh, there you go. See, what was the low, uh, Marshall? Can you give me the low? Was 265 the low? 
So we'll see. Anyway, we will be watching for a reversal in the euro and the U.S. dollar today and tomorrow. We're just that many days down. You have to respect statistics, and <laughs> you just got to respect it. So um, these double tops can really mean a, a lot. So we got to watch that very, very closely with the holiday coming. And we'll we'll have Stan Harley on tomorrow, hopefully, and uh, after the total goof all yesterday. Anyway, 877-927-6648. I'm certain you are or strive to be one of the best of the best at everything you do in life. It's the most common trait that we tigers and tigresses share. If you're looking to become the best of the best when it comes to managing your money, let me teach you to do what most wealth managers tell you can't be done, which is how to time the markets. I'm Steve Rhodes, author of Mastering Probability, and for the last 12 months, Timer Digest has been tracking my newsletter signals, which have earned me the ranking as their number one market timer in the nation for the S&P 500 for the last 12, 6, and 3 months. Timer Digest also ranks me as the number one market timer for gold as well. The fact is, markets can be timed, and I'll teach you the exact set of tools that I use that has transformed me into one of the best at what I do. Sign up for Mastering Probability today by clicking on the newsletter tab on the homepage of TFNN.com and get immediate access to workshops where I take you step-by-step -step how to use an extraordinary set of tools as well as provide great market calls too. Sign up today. If you haven't checked out the newsletters page of TFNN.com, what are you waiting for? All of the TFNN newsletters are informative, up-to-date, affordable, and a must-have for every trader looking to gain a competitive informational edge in today's markets. TFNN newsletters cover every aspect of the markets to offer you the very latest in market news. Plus, new subscribers get to test drive our newsletters risk-free for 30 days. From all aspects of the markets, including stocks, bonds, metals, commodities, and tech, there's a newsletter to fit your needs exclusively from TFNN. Stay informed each day you trade and get that competitive edge that will help you stay ahead of the game. Visit our newsletters page by going to TFNN.com and click the newsletters button near the top of the page. TFNN.com, educating investors. Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. Thus was born the Chapman Wave sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now, you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. All right, folks, uh, we'll uh, talk about the Treasury bonds here. We just took out the highs of March at 150.22. Remember, that's a 61% retracement on the daily chart. This could be a double top. We don't know the answer to that, but nobody else does either. Now, if we get above 150.30, that is certainly going to tell us that we're most probably getting ready to move up to that 153 level, which is a 60 or 78 percent level on the long-term daily chart. Now, that is a possibility. That's another ABCD going back from uh, late February up into April, down into 
uh, middle of April, and then the ABCD ends at 153.15. It's which are what we're looking at. But we did take out those highs. Whether it's got power to go or not, I don't know. But remember, folks, this is the largest of, uh, well, actually not the largest. The Treasury notes are the largest of all the commodities uh, that we trade. But this is the most volatile. Uh, eh, it's one of the most volatile. But th th if it gets there, there's got to be a lot of power to push it through. So double tops do happen. And we've seen them, and when they fail, you don't have to risk very much. That's the whole key to look at. Now, the euro did make a new low below the 111.10. We went down to 111.05. We rallied 30 pips, you know, 300 bucks. Uh, whether that means anything or not, I don't know either, because I'm looking at 110.92. Maybe that'll happen. Maybe it won't. But we'll look at that tomorrow for sure. And remember, we got a long weekend coming up, and the probability of the market closing higher the day before a holiday it's better than 70%. Those numbers have been going on for a long time, and it will be a limited day tomorrow, folks, because a lot of the folks are heading out to the Hamptons and out to wherever they go, wherever the customers' yachts are. There are very few of those out there. But um, there will be some folks uh, lightening up uh, today and tomorrow, so very light volume on the day uh, before Memorial Day. But Tuesday coming in, it's going to be rocking and rolling. And speaking of rocking and rolling, we're going to have Mr. Norm, who calls it to the minute, Winsky, on the show on the 28th uh, to give us his uptake of what's going on with the new moon. 877-927-6648.